Welcome to the busy town of Waterside in City Skylines. Now, this city has been built with both the After Dark and the new Snowfall DLC enabled, but we won't be able to use all the features of the Snowfall DLC because you need a special map for that. And I am thinking about doing a campaign, or let's play, I shouldn't say campaign, for Snowfall. And therefore, what I'm going to do is do these keep these episodes short and then so maybe I can get the second let's play up running alongside it and what you can see now is that we're approaching big town a big town's a major milestone if you are building a city using the unlocks because we, we reach a point where we get high density zoning metros incineration university prison and we get lots of more new policies and leisure specification and you can say this is a key milestone in the sense that you go from, uh, you can almost say like survival mode towards actually starting to create and build the city up. So so what we're going to do is push towards getting Big Town, but that's going to be the background task. And I think we'll just unpause the game and let it run now. I've run through so that we're on a day cycle because what the, the main focus of this part is some of the new features and what we're going to start with is something I talked about in the previous episode but I never really did anything about it and this is road maintenance now it's a new feature and it says here road maintenance depot houses maintenance vehicles they travel around the city to boost roads allowing travel tra travel at higher than normal speeds now it's got no noise pollution and it's got no uh, any general pollution so this is I think this is the type of building we can get in say say here it needs good road access the same as the buses and I think because it doesn't produce any pollution I think if we drop that in here now we're just going to have a look at the vitals and so say this is the first time I've done this oh we've got a new tab now so we, this is coverage so it looks like the coverage is good and condition oh Looks like our roads uh, need some work. Oh, you can see it changing. I can see a <coughs> you can see as the truck moves around, they start to change. But obviously, it takes a little while for the trucks to get. So I suppose they work the same way as garbage trucks. You, you can't see any difference on the road. I don't know if that would be with the snowfall expansion. So we're just going to let that run. Looks like we've got a little bit of a traffic jam here. I'm not sure. And again, because you're reaching this key milestone, you've got to start watching out for traffic because you're now getting it's now the city's now getting to a point where traffic flow and that is. I think I'll probably speed the game up a little bit. So we come along the pace. Now I've done a, f a, c a couple of minor adjustment adjustments in preparation for the next thing that I'm going to build, which is again it's new to the the game, and this is trams. Now you can see we've got lots of different road features here and across here. And the first thing, like the same with the bus depot, you we've got to lay a tram depot. Now unlike the bus depot where you can just drop it in anywhere and the buses will use any road now the tram works like the trains and the network it's got to do of course a really big building so you need to think a little bit about where to put it and I'm, I'm gonna put it there I will be honest that I have done some practice play with this on another another private city that I was running so there's a few hot tips that I want to talk about mm, the first one is this is a big building you can see it's got the tram connections if we come out now you've got the symbol there that says it's not connected and what we're going to do now is come find some roads and you're going to be up I'm going to be upgrading the roads now you've got to be a bit careful because you've got one way tram networks but I'll just demonstrate this it chain you can see there it actually changes the direction of the road so 
So you, if you're going to upgrade, you've got to you've got to use the two-way ones. Let's say two-lane with tram tracks, and what I'm just going to do is just do a, an upgrade here to show you. Oh, there's we're now at the big town. It come up very lot more quicker. As you can see, we've now got leisure, higher density, and all this. So. And so what we're going to do now is start to lay out the main route but what you've got to be aware of is that this station, the, tra the tram, the actual tram station comes out like this. Now trams cannot do U-turns so you've got to kind of just come out this way and what you've got to do is create a loop but as you can see the trams can go in and out of that station so you don't need to loop round the state with the actual so what I'm going to do is just come up this way um but I'm not gonna well it's exactly what I didn't want to do but I can just come out I think we'll just do that just so the trams can get out and run now so, so I'm kind of laying out a path here, and what I'm going to do is come up here and across here. Now, it may seem a bit odd, but one thing you can't do is put trams on a highway. So, what I'm actually going to do, and at some point I will be upgrading this to a highway, most likely if the, if the city ba becomes more, how can you say, just traffic comes denser so what I'm going to do is actually come out here and this is this is quite a, a neat little feature in the fact that oh, I don't want a road built the wrong one that's not what I wanted to do and I think it'd probably be easier to illustrate it this way if I come here you've got these here which are tram tracks only so what you can do is come out here come across here um, come down and run in there. So what we've actually got there is is like a, a tram line only bridge. So we've got now got there. So the trams can go over there, which is a quite a neat feature. You have got a single track version as well, well for one way trams. So um, what we can do now is keep upgrading roads and what I'm actually going to do is now there's two ways you can do this you could kind of build out like this and so you can just lay out a, a single road there but you're going to need a loop so I'll just use it as an example and what I could do is do this And that means that the tram the tram route will come in round here and like that. You've got to have these some kind of turning circles because trams do not do U-turns. And in fact, I might leave that. The other option is that you actually build in circles, in loops. So you c I could come back here, but I'm quite happy with that actually. I think because the other issue I found is that. If you mix trams and buses, you can see here you've got the tra the buses moving up there with the trams, and that will severely impede your traffic. And what we'll I think we'll go with that actually. And the other key factor is, if you look on here, is that it's a network. So, if so, so if we wanted to put a tram route up here, it would have to connect with here, so that the trams from this depot can come up this way. But I think this is where we're going to start. And I think we're put one there um, it does seem to be a little bit odd I think it respects the two sides of the road again so same as bus routes and we're just going to come up here you can't put a stop of for obvious reasons you can't put a stop onto the on on where it's tram tracks only so we're just going to come up this way um, 
this way. I'm keeping the stops fairly spaced out for the moment. Um, we're just going to come up here. Um, we're just going to come back this way. Um, maybe we'll put one there. And another one there because it won't be too busy. Um, I think we'll come this way. Why won't it let me? Well, we'll just put one there. These are a little bit close together, but what we can do is just <sighs> maybe just put. I would sleep two together. So we've now got there the tram line built in. And um, oh it's got dark so and again you can come up here, click on public transport and I think this is trams, yep. And we can just just let's have a nice yellow tram line. Oops the game slow down because we've you can see now, and we'll just see if we can get as a quick zoom in. The other key factor, drop the budget down, but don't drop it down that much. And you can actually see, um, the other thing also is the, the you can actually adjust the, this is, as you can see here, it says road maintenance and snow dump. Um, I think we've got taxis running, we'll just drop that down a little bit, maybe leave it up a bit at night because that's when most people catch the taxis and I say we can just watch the trams running. Now you can see that the trams actually run on the road section so if we can just find, you can see the traffic stops so you don't really want trams on main roads because the tram basically obstructs the road, you can see there and it also seems to have priority and then we're going to go have a little neat run up the bridge it also does tunnels you can actually send trams underground so and that's with normal roads so you can put a tram through a tunnel I did do some experimentation or you can have a little there so you can see the trams going we've got, we've got a little bit of a surge with population so I hope you've enjoyed that bit on the trams I, I was quite fascinated I'm living in the UK that we don't actually have trams so much anymore. We had them in the past and in true lack of foresight we actually demolished them or they were taken away back well many many years ago I think it was back in the even back around the time of the Second World War. So what we're going to do now is start to build this up and this is what I, was, I meant by getting to big town is that you want to start to expand this, get the medium zoning going before you start committing to expanding the city further and what we can do is drop drop in a, a couple of these I think maybe one over here to make people look feel a bit happier um, let's change to a Norbury Park because if you get these these areas to upgrade what will actually happen is that your population will grow and of course now we've got incinerators so I think what we're going to do is just drop an incinerator in here and what I'm inclined to do is actually move one of these power stations now and kind of move it over here may need to free up some space here and I think we'll just go back and have a quick look at the you can see mm, we've got a few patches on the road maintenance obviously these guys don't cover as well as they should or maybe they just can't get to parts and if you get kind of we'll go back to uh, where is it if you get kind of zones like this, what sometimes what it pays to do, and there's quite a good mod which I really recommend for it, is this. 
which is uh, basically it shows the direction of the one-way streets because sometimes if you get a dead patch here you may have accidentally put down a one-way road and that may actually kind of cause you problems and the city's going and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I think we've gained the university and I do like to have a university here and um, if you kind of look it kind of fits across one of these large ones so what I'm thinking about is having a university here but I don't want it just piled up on this campus here so what I'm going to do is kind of come out like this oops oh I've accident oh wow that's a, a bit of serendipity isn't it uh, we can kind of extend the trams out this way um because that'd be quite useful because it would get people to the university um what we're going to do is drop the university on the end here um this time we're going to remember to use the right roads um I'm just going to come down here i know i'm keeping the grid going but i think at the moment the other factor is you can't have this upgrading if you have trams so I think what we'll do is we'll just adjust the tram tracks here and to modify the route you've got to do is just quite literally pull up here and we can just drop a bit in there and to start with I think we'll go go low density here and that will probably need some water yeah it goes without saying and of course we need some power but the power will get there and I think we'll leave that sec section in there at the moment because I don't think it really affects the city we've got some commercial coming in so I think again we're, uh, we're just going to go for some high density here and I think this is where we're going to start I think we're again. I think we'll just have some ordinary roads here for the moment. I must just turn off the one-way system, and I think we're just going to keep it shallow for the moment here, but maybe not reduce the number of road junctions a bit here. So we'll just kind of come this way. This is, and I think we're going to go high density but not over the top. Actually, let's go mixture of high density, low density here. Because, of course, we've got the old traffic flow here. And what I'm going to do is, we've got this kind of area here. And what I'm going to do is just put in a new zone here. Maybe just push it up a little bit into there while this area is growing and we're gonna, what we're going to do is put some leisure in here I think just to get this ledger specialization going um, and obviously we're going to put some water here just keeping an eye on the time because I want to keep this short and to the point got the university connected up here I think we're just going to have a look at the bus routes now now Hmm, I don't know if that's a bug or not, but it's actually showing the tram route as a bus route, which is interesting. Um, what I'm actually going to do is see if I can hook this Oops, a daisy. Um, I think we're just going to delete that stop. That pulls it over this way. And if this gets... Oops. We've now got... Oops. And this one's kind of going this way. 
So we've now got a bus route next to the university, connecting that up, and that's going this way. And I think what we can do now is we've got it going round that way. I think this flows in quite nicely, but it's probably a a little bit too long. So I think what we're going to do now is kind of I'm not don't want to run another bus on this route. So what I'm actually going to do is actually yeah this because this the trams are going one way so I think what we're going to do is come out this way and I think we'll just do this and then what will happen is um, um, oops don't want that I'll just take it back and connect it there um, we'll just have a quick look at the bus routes got two bus routes so I think we'll make one green Oh, we've got already got green, so how about a, a deep magenta and uh, a kind of dark blue, that that would be it there. So we've now got the area here. I think we're oh, we're getting some high density here, I think. Just drop that in there. I must say I do like the having these small areas because it gives a bit of variety with the buildings. I've got to keep an and one of the reasons for building the university is the fact that if you've got a highly educated workforce, your not workforce or well, population, it will actually can okay, say decrease your production of garbage and things like that what we're going to do now is create a new zone here because Oak Hills is my kind of w worker area schools out but obviously we, we want these people here here whoops a daisy I don't want Primrose Hill I square I have to name these I think a bit and um, it's just gonna come round here maybe start to intrude a bit on here and what we're going to do now is just come in here I certainly don't want schools out I'm going to encourage recycling, water uses, smoke detection, city planning old town encourage biking and the heavy traffic ban because I don't want anyone coming through here building it and you can see the the growth slowing up but then I've resed a lot of or defined a lot of the high density here so it's going to take a little while to fill up I think maybe we're let's see if we can I mean it's a university so let's kind of drop a can't build a park there so I think what we'll do is we'll just come down here oh got some tennis courts universities so we can kind of pep it up there and I think and we all know how university students like to get out and enjoy themselves so let's get a oops I don't want oh I haven't built any taxi rank oh Oh, that's a bit of a fail. So let's see if we can... I think we're... Can we get it in here? Just drop him in on this corner. It's a bit tight, but we've already upgraded that road, so... Oh, I didn't realise I hadn't built a taxi rank. So what we can do now is... We can certainly give the university one. Uh, maybe... I mean they do create a bit of noise so maybe we'll just put it there. The important thing with taxi ranks is that their main purpose is to provide places for taxis to park when they're not in use. So 
you don't need lots and lots of them all over the place. People don't walk to the taxis. They they kind of summon them is probably the best way to describe it. So oh, there's a kind of a corner there, so maybe we'll drop one in there. So and because of the noise element, you kind of want to put them where I mean they can you can put them close to residential areas, but <coughs> what I tend to do is I like to put them somewhere mainly in the commercial areas, places where and maybe we'll just drop another one here. And I think that's enough. And you can see, I think that that's not a taxi. You can see a taxi's just gone by there. But they, c they can be a little bit difficult to spot because. Th Oops, a daisy. See if we can spot a taxi in here somewhere. Uh, no. We can see the people walking through the bridges. You can see this is quite a popular flow here. And we've got the buses coming up through here. We've got quite a lot of people catching, standing here on the tram stop. Obviously, the trams are very, very popular. Um, we've kind of got this here, so I think I'm going to push a road up through here. And we've got more demand for residential, but what I'm going to do is kind of I think what we'll do is we'll have a band coming through here so I think we're just kind of and the trick with increasing the density here is not to do whole areas is to do a block and then let it fill in and then do another block and you will run a kind of demand here but you remember you need to remember the RCI meter is relative in the sense that it actually there. Uh, now we're getting problems with these. This traffic is actually caused by news residents. So if I kind of go here and click here, you will see it says here high school children are driving home featured there. And these are actually new residents, and obviously they're coming in here. You can see them mixed in up here. You can see them all coming in. So when you kind of develop. So this is kind of a quick tip in the sense that when you develop a major areas like that, they're all going to come in this entrance. So I think what we're going to do is, is I think what we can do here, I'm just going to do this. I'm aware that I'm kind of running out of time, but I think I can just get this in nice and quickly. I think... I think we'll do is come out here kind of 140 sorry it's my usual roundabout and um, we'll just take this off just gonna do is we're kind of have a distance too short oh because of course it's uh um, I think we'll just come off like that and that will open up this area and I think what we're gonna do is just come off here Just like we'll just curve you off that way. Um, I mean, this is just a kind of a a temporary. Um, I think what we'll do is we we'll kind of come up here. So if we can.
it's a bit messy, but it will do the job. I think that's pretty cruddy. So I think we'll just nip that off. I was actually aiming for the wrong one. I think that will come this way. So these trucks will come in and come this way. Um, it's a bit Heath Robinson, but I think we're, um, we need to come up that way. So I think if we kind of come off that way. No. It's pretty awful. No, it's no good. I'll take that off. I think time's running out and I think what I'm gonna do is just leave that there. I will tidy it up off camera, I think. It's a bit of a mess. And maybe I should have built the roundabout over that might have be been a better idea actually is I should have built the roundabout and actually built a proper junction there. I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I will do that off camera. But you get the idea is this will now allow the traffic to come in here. I'll just check the zoning. Yeah, maybe we'll just push the zoning back a bit there so that and then what it will mean is that as this area grows, oh, you can see the rain coming in now. As this area grows, the residents will be able to come in and out of here, but not commercial trucks. It will also mean that s sometimes, quite perversely, service trucks will go all the way round. And maybe if I do build a roundabout there, because then it means I can build, start building, a, maybe moving some of this industrial out that way. Oh, does that flash a lightning? So we get lightning as well, do we? Right, so this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And you can see we're, what we're going to do now is kind of start to grow the city. And what in the next part, we're going to start trying to start focusing on locking, unlocking some of these, bu these buildings here. So I'm going to go through and see what can be unlocked. got a nice transport tower there which will you saw as I say because we're now at a point where this you could say the survival mode is over you can see the old these are hotels did I get oh don't tell me I've messed up the yep I messed up the made it tourists instead of leisure so just change that I actually did that in my last Let's Play. You need a, a more mature city to have tourism. I mean, we'll, we'll have tourism down here, but all I wanted was a thing. Oh, look at that, another flash of lightning. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Get thunder as well. That wasn't outside, that was in the game. So... Um, this is definitely where I'm going to leave it now, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, like and subscribe. And until the next time, enjoy your gaming.